It's the Battle of the Winelands. Two of the world's greatest schoolboy rugby teams battle at Bruchstraat. It's Paul Ruiz versus Paul Boys. And what a day for rugby it is. The past half decade of South African schoolboy rugby has been dominated by these two teams, and today they battle once more. For three years, Paul Boys were undefeated on a 52 run unbeaten streak. However, last year, Paul Ruiz's side was described as once in a generation. And after having gone through their season almost unbeaten, barring an in defeat to Gray College, they smashed Paul Boys high last year. However, Paul Boys have had the better of them in the past eight years. Interestingly, Paul Ruiz, having won the Sanix Youth World Cup overseas, suffered a loss to Paul Jim last week. Looking at the spring box from Paul Boys, it is an extensive list. The most recent, of course, Thomas Tatoy. Corne Kricher, many will remember him, especially amongst the Western Cape. And Carl Duplessis, the Duplessis name, famous amongst Paul Boys in the hallways. And it is just an exquisite setting for rugby. The backdrop of the hills of Paul. And of course, these schools roughly in the same vicinity. And a great camaraderie and a great spirit. Now it's the Paul Ruiz boys running out. And their captain today, Jared Kids, he's a standing captain. Uh, mentioning the recent form. The defeat against Paul Jim, they will be smarting from it. And otherwise, they have been, of course, good. Coming off a 2018 that will be remembered forever. Jared Gerns, he was the captain of the Grand Como side in 2017, Western Province. And he was in Western Province's elite well, the Academy Week last week. And now it is the turn of the hometown Paul Boys. The famous blue and white strips. And although they lost to Gray College, who is perhaps the preeminent side of schoolboy rugby, in the they have had a good start to the season. Reynold Rainsberger, the 105 kilogram prop. He played on the first team last year and was in Grant Como in 2017. He is leading the boys out now. We will be having a moment of silence for Jaden Aaron. Dual sign of respect from both these sides. So now deal, kneel down in prayer. And that is Kwesi Nkumboti, who has been in the systems for many years. He's a teacher at Bishop's Prep. He loves traveling and meeting new people. I'm in the booth with the big man, 
Martin Biggie and Shlonga, that beautiful face you see peeking out next to mine. <laughs> Biggie, this is a game we don't know who's going to win it. Anton, lovely to be back here in the poll. It is the Winelands Derby today with Paul Russ going against Boys High. And you saw Paul Russ went on and uh, won the Sanex Junior World Cup, as you stated, but came back and lost to Paul Kim. The same as Boys High has been performing well. So today is one for the win. We have amongst the commentators' booth been trying to make bets on who's going to win. As now, Robbie Rogers, who is one of the stand-up players of Paul Ruiz, was a stand-up player last year. He took contact. Now it's Andre Smith. That fell. That was Mayring Eberson who dropped it on. Biggie, a lot of atmosphere here. What, what a venue! must say with beautiful views I can, as you can see on the screen just a good day for some dynamite rugby Paul Riss very eager to put some points on the scoreboard having Marin Eberson just putting his eye off that ball and just dropping it but you can see the urgency in that attack today is a big one Fine. Sit. Buerta Volata Bullets it out now quickly through the hands. Croy. Clutty. Clutty actually often plays scrum off. Moved out to the wing. And the roar from Paul Ruiz students as their first team is awarded the penalty in front of them. Tyler doing as expected by a center if you're not bashing through the defense is trying to stop that man just losing his feet and not being able to roll away goes backwards through the hands Velbach cleans up it's spat out Buerta finds Bolita looked at the option of the kick but rather Ronan Daniels takes contact good attempt to steal it but through the hands forward showing some skills Volita. Gives it to Robbie Rogers. Both Volita and Rogers have signed three-year contracts with Montpellier after their school career. And that era gifts Paul Boys possession. Corner Wilbur. Just not getting his hands on that ball. The young man represented Western Province in the Grand Como last year. A junior coming into his first year's first team rugby. I can imagine if he got that ball, he could have bashed through that defense. Just needs to work on that handling. Must tell you, in the backdrop, the two schools are singing and pointing directly at each other. Six. Vian van der Sar feeds, lets it out. He played a good role last year and lovely bounce. Dish up by Tyler Box over. Possession was lost, turned over. Puerta. Turned well, Volita with the stab. Kept alive now, chased in field, Clutty puts pressure and Paul Boys under pressure, Rousseau. Oh. Biggie, what he, I think he was under a lot of pressure. I think he did all things considered, not too poorly. No, he did very well. <laughs> Didn't have much opportunity to make the best decision under pressure but he did well just to get it outside the try area and look at Volata identifying space from straight away was part of the 24 points he scored last year in their victory looking to start it off fresh this year not a great set piece for Ruiz and straight into Paul Boy's hands now the kick coming in that was a fine kick Look at the atmosphere at Brough Street Stadium. We were here last year for the Craven Week. It was just the atmosphere. I can imagine being a player on this field and being driven by such momentum just by the spirit in this field. This time the lineup for Paul Ruiz better. Ronan Daniels, he's replacing Ruben Labaskachny. Deputy head boy. Oof, manhandled was Daniel Swart. Nonetheless, Russ. That's a good tackle from Kuhn Horn. 
Matt Luddit. The recipient and the defense paying off for Boys High. Q and Horn just taking Lukberger to school. Or rather, Matt Luddit just wiping the floor with him. That was a great tackle, great defense shown by the young man, Quinn Horn. What a way of welcoming an opposite player to your home ground. Now Van der Sand allows Van Veek to pass it off through the hands, moving quickly, transported. Jacques Rousseau, he wasn't held, got up, made his way into the 22. Van der Sand holds on to it. A wealth of big players waiting for it. And once again... You know, Anton, basic work by the scrum officers to be the link between the forwards and the back line. And Vian van der Sand is doing quite well with that. He's there by the breakdowns, getting the ball spread out, and with such precision, getting it right on the hands. Oh, what a big hit was looking to pounce through. The Paul defense just not allowed there. On oh, the old boys, such an integral part of schoolboy rugby across the country. And those young men, very exuberant. You can imagine the bragging rights across the Winelands. Needing now to open the account. Paul Boys High, first to score, three to the tally. Peter Engeldo, Paul Boys coach, came from Greekwiz, known across South Africa for what he did there in Kimberley. Took over from Sean Erasmus. The restart. Well contested, but a fine take. Van der Sand. How was that defense? Arno Hinop. Take a bow. Forces a turnover. Buerta. Kearns. Vantage. Robbie Rogers. Rogers was in the Western Province Craven Week side. Craven Week, as Biggie mentioned, was hosted here at Brooksrot last year. It was a wonderful tournament. Paul Ruiz now slowing it down a bit, bashing it up. Dylan DeLeo was there. Rogers puts his head down, assisted by Kearns. Let it go. Deep, the drop kick, and he's got it. Goodness me. No, he saw the opportunity in a moment of advantage. Tried kicking the ball, just slotted to the left a bit at the top of the poles. I'm very embarrassed. I thought he had got it. Excuse me. He had advantage. <laughs> I could have sworn he put it over, but... <laughs> He'll have a better opportunity for both him and the commentator to view this kick. Don't worry, Anton. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> so, Cade Volator, who... I attributed three points to a moment ago. Now has a legitimate chance to draw even with Paul Boys. Paul Boys. He's done it. And we're even. The game in the first 10 minutes certainly living up to the hype. Wallace slotting his first three points up for this game. He was part of the victory last year and certainly won himself a three-year contract with Montpellier, looking to make his name international before he returns back home. Great three points by the young lad. It's allowed to bounce. 
and dots it down. Well, Biggie, just to follow up on what you're saying, I hope and trust Kate Ball it's a world return. He's a great talent. He was a wonderful archer in his great 11 year. So South Africans will be most certainly hoping that him and Rogers do come back to our shores. Have to point out, can you hear the electric guitar in the background? These boys really know how to put on a show. Yeah. Crouch! That's the man. Bind! Set! Scrum on the halfway. Stay bound, flanks. Buerta yes. with time. Volata breaks the first defender. Breaks the attempt of his opposite 10. Now well, spat out. Swat. Leave it. Stas Nell makes a tackle. Well, Stas now part of the tackle ash and just not moving away quick enough to allow Paul Riz to play an open blow all day. This young lad slotted five conversions last year and three penalties. Played a pivotal goal in the 44-8 win last year against Boys High. That is a big boot. Cade Volita from 44 meters out puts it over the uprights with interest. Payne stacking attention to detail. I'd love to see what he can do for about 50, 55 meters out, but I have faith that he might slot it as well. I believe he will, and it's sea level to remember that as well. Now, a time when you don't want too big a boot is right there as Kian Meadon sends it past the dead ball line. Once a mistake and twice is a decision. Kian Meadon should just look to get the height of the ball rather than the distance. Happened a second time, he wouldn't want it to happen again. Second mistake, six points on the scoreboard. Solid, sturdy scrum. Buta. Ball, it's a fine pass. Daniels ripped down. Beautiful pass from Buta. With Dylan DeLeo. He was at Stellenberg before this. Told he's a tall and gentle giant. Certainly hasn't been too gentle in his offense against Paul Boys. Benachidin van Veik. Four boys high. Meaden. Box. Box himself went to Paul Ruiz. Before he was at Paul Boys. And Sebastian Lombard pirouetted there. Lovely from the big man. Cut out pass. Contact taken by Rousseau. So this was the first turnover. Wow. I think he used his knees, did Gideon van Veik. Here comes the, the penalty. It's part of the tackle, not releasing, no daylight there. And part of that also was a knock-on. Intro. 
23 tackles made by Boys High to only seven from Paul Ruiz. Isn't that a figure? Paul Ruiz came with the one thing in mind today is to attack, 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 using their forwards quite well, forcing Boys High out of action, forcing them to attempt the turnovers. Not successful in that though. But right now the score six to three in the first quarter. You notice a slight difference in the way in which the schools support their kickers. Paul Ruiz has sort of spurred fingers with their indexes upright and their thumbs touching. Whereas boys are at the moment, hands open. As Neil Fenter played Grand Chroma, as did many of the young men on the field, takes contact. Now Jacques Rousseau. Number 16, Rousseau played as wing. Evan Root. Out quickly to Lombard. Mentioned his dexterous skills on the feet earlier. He was a man who was receiving some attention. As Kian Meaden, 75 kgs, takes the contact. Rainsberger, the captain. Ruda again. Turned over. However, Poesium Kumboti saw a penalizable offense. Paul Ruiz just so eager to get the ball in their hands. You could saw that possession 76% on their side with every tackle attempted to turn it, turn it over. And boys are just not making good selection in terms of the channels there and they've been hitting the second channel all the time they need to surprise Paul Ruiz come back to the first channel bash it up quickly and spread it out to the blind side wing there might be opportunity in those spaces Williams finds his mark now the mall set up is this boys high opportunity to go into the lead, I'll tell you, it is marching forward. Five out. Goes on the break to Zruida. Desperately held up. His fellow lock joins the party, puts his head down. Pull us on. By foot out. And still, boys high, press on. Too many bodies, no, too many bodies. they have chances. They have the ball. So we've had two scrums thus far in this match and boys I haven't had quite good momentum in those scrums this is the perfect opportunity for them to pick up Paul, um, Anton they five meters from the try line that you saw with that mall they were gaining forward momentum now they need to bind up a tighter the tighter prop Reynard need to put his hips more square because that point of contention is right there he's not able to hold that pressure they need to drive on and score this try Big push from Paul Ruiz. <laughs> Love that expert analysis from the big man next to me. Giving the young men some pointers. If you look at Reynolds, his hips pop out straight away. You can just see that his right left shoulder will pop up. He needs to square down those hips. Cut. Five. Will that pass scrum allow them to take it over the back? They do now. Van Veek comes short. Now to the back line. Meaden inside line. Horn. Oh, just short. I thought he was perhaps over. The dummy. He was well read by the defender there. Paul Boys high. Demanding a try. Paul Ruiz holding strong for now. Worked out, quick hands. The fence was standing by Clutti. They've gone over, have they grounded it? Kwezun Kumbati says no. Pause bo boys high, knocking on that try line's door. They need to just maintain the head on their shoulders. But you can see the power driven through by Van Berg. 
looking, or rather, Quain Horn. Quite a strong runner and ball carrier you have in him. Boys high, still attacking. This time, worked out quickly to the back line. The crash ball from the center. Box. Out quickly, Needham. Takes it himself. Berger came into the line. His space is in the pillars. Williams. That is stellar defense on that big young man. Boys high, relentless. And now, Fenter still held up. I have been so impressed by Paul Ruiz's defense. Great attack by Boys High. True, true, Anton. I just think uh, Vian van der Sand just taking a bit long to get the ball out. Saw an opportunity on the right hand uh, pillar just before this ball was taken up. And just taking a bit long to make the decision, and that pillar was closed. So he just needs to get there, get the ball out quicker. It's right on red. Right on point scoring space, or he has to just pick up the pace on that. Old boy is there. Is there anything more typical of a student who's recently left an old boys school than the long hair we all used to grow? We're given the chance to do a bit more flamboyant, but Biggie, this is twice now in several minutes that boys high have crossed over the try line, and Paul Rose have physically stopped them from grounding it. It's, it has been impressive. Bozai is going to have a long day today. They need to just make better decision in the execution. Get the ball out quicker. Run that first channel. All right, hit it twice or three times and then just spread it out to the wings. There's so many times that they're pulling the poor rest defense and just not getting that set piece executed correctly. And their scrums are picked up from the first two. Yeah, so we go again. Boys high. I mean business. Both these teams do. Five. The boot of Volata, the difference Six. at the moment. Van der Sand. Van Veek. Horn. Horn uses his strength. Boys high with the first try of the match. Quinn Horn. A young man represented the Western Province in the Academy Week last year. What a strong runner he is. You know, an outside center's main goal is to bash through defense, and that is what he did. Cade Croy couldn't stop him at all, but always waits behind that ball, bash through, score the try for boys high. I'll tell you, for me, Horn has been the pick of the backs for boys high. Perhaps even of the whole team. Brilliant on defense and attack. Big kick now for Kian Meaden. Arms raised from the boys high crowd. And I'll tell you what. Whatever they're doing, it works. Meaden adds two. Boys high with Abra Kadabra, slotting it through by Kian Meaden. But this man, Queen Horn, still in the first half, but he's picking his hand up for that man of the match right now. The restart. Sees the ball sailing past that beautiful hill, and now popped up to Paul Roos's hands. Daniel Swart, to be more specific. Buerta feeds out the short crash ball. Rogers feeds Iverson. Buerta giving instructions. Now this is in front of the uprights. Kian Mead and just caught in that ruck. I'm happy with the first pitch he's looking to go over to Skimmerbull, but I'm worried about the first star. He's not rolling away quick enough. Because that's slowing the ball down, allowing your player to play the ball. Yeah. Just rolling out quicker, please. Boys, I, this is the third warning they received, or third penalty they received because I'm not rolling away. They just need to work on that discipline on a high. Just take care of the basics so that they can win the turnovers and start containing this game. 
Well, it's up. No troubles with that. And we now go to a one-point game. And the Paul Ruiz old boys getting their time on the screen. Look at this. The young men turning around. Part of these war cries and songs. Oh, what man? Oh, there you go. I believe that's Seven Nation Army. And to the best soundtrack you could imagine, Meaden. This time doesn't overcook it. And Cade Volata sends it into the boys' high stand. Williams to Van Veek. Now Fenta. This is good play from Boys High. Building momentum. Box. Van de Sant. It's a nice strong run. Lofty pass. Well taken. And a fine pass there. Stays alive. Rainsberger. Williams scraggled, the balls popped out. And yeah, that was a bit naughty. And he knows it, says Dylan DeLeo. Dylan DeLeo, the young lad who represented Sari Elite Development in 2018. Don't think that's what they taught him in that, but yeah, he saw the opportunity. Clean through. And I believe maybe he thought it's now inside when he cleaned through the ball. You know, sometimes you, it's just too good to believe. <laughs> and I have to say, this game has not disappointed. Two of the greatest schoolboy sides in the world. Now, Kian Meaden to extend the lead. Yes, he's done it. Hands on this game. Maybe won by the Flowers. It's three out of three from Kian Meaden. The same one from Kate Wolitzer. Both have three penalties slotted. This might just be a game of the Flowers. And once again, a restart. Well taken. Flattening tackle coming from the winger, Matt Luddit. Luddit is a spectacular cricketer. Last year alone, he got 50 wickets for the first 11. <laughs> Lineouts have been good from Boy. Boys are and Bullrus, hookers with good throws. As uh, we say that, Everson with a fine throw to the flower, Folleter, who in turn fed Kearns, the captain. Kearns is with the Saru Elite group last year. Ruiz now. We've seen more attacking play from Boys Heart, and it's going to stay that way for the time being. You can see Paul Ruiz driving through, trying to get the turnover of the ball. Boys are just a bit reluctant to play the ball. They just need to, uh, in order to extend this lead, they need to get the balls in their hand and play it right from those uh, rucks. Get the same pieces going. Now this is a vibe, and what I love is seeing a bit of music, a bit of culture at the rugby. It shows how important the musician, the guitarist is in the game of rugby. What a vibe it is. Alistair Williams, well, once again, a throw in that goes over the top. However, this time it's knocked forward by Boys High. Farmer presumably playing with advantage. 
takes it and does some dancing. He's a great athlete, nicknamed Zava, and he featured strongly for Boys High last year. Meaden puts in the kick. Well read and anticipated. Buerta, Volata, Daniels, Kearns. Well, that is pretty solid counter racking. Despite a scare, the ball comes out in the way of Paul Ruiz. Gap half opened up. That is Arno Hinop. He normally plays lock. Could have been a fly for that pass. Wow. Paul Ruiz not having luck on the attack. Biggie, I want to ask you. You know it better than I, but my interpretation is that Boys High seem to have had a better sense of continuity, better phase play. Paul Ruiz have rather capitalized on the odd error and used the boot to Volata, but Boys High, the more complete attacking side this first half. Do you think that's fair for me to say? Fair from you, Anton. I must say, Paul Ruiz started this match very hard, and I think now that they have to contest for that ball, not getting the clean ball out, they are a bit unstable, whereby Boys High is sticking to their game plan. You know, from every ball they get, they get perfect execution from what they've planned, and they spread the ball much better and running the channels much better in terms of decision-making compared to Paul Ruiz. Anton, expert advice given by you. Now, you, Biggie, you said there was a battle of the fly-halves. Meaden saying, hey, Volita, have a look at this. 52 meters out, sea level, a schoolboy. Anton, that abracadabra they keep on giving him, him is working. Kieran Meaden last year only managed to slot one, but today he's sitting on four. This man is making sure that this boot is platinum, part of the winner today. Can they keep up this lead? A shorter restart from Ruiz and it goes straight into the hands of big gallivanting Rainsberger. The kick put in. Sorry, Buerta did his best. But boys high now, building up ahead of steam. They may have ripped it out. Oh, they have. Captain Fantastic, Raylock Richberger, getting that punt through, chasing it. Part of that defense tackle, leading from the front, perfectly done by Reynard Richberger. Look at that blood, sweat, and tears. Well, this is the moment. Wrapped up and uh, Stas Nell involved there. And you can feel the atmosphere, the boys high, students in the stand are on their feet. And you know, these schools I mentioned what a show they put on when boys high play against Paul Jim. There's always an orchestra, a rock band. Right, these schools familiar with supporting. And what a beautiful spot. And how fortunate everybody involved here is to be here today. It's hard to think of a more spectacular setting for the game of rugby to be played. There's a bit of a tension as there is a blood replacement. Stas now is going to have that nose. Fixed up. Biggie, you ever had a bleeding nose or a broken nose? Never broken, uh, Anton. Bleeding, yes. You know, at, <laughs> at very hard Stop. conditions when the scrum gets very where hard, sometimes you. Five. Six. Sometimes the blood flows from the nose. Off the back, Van Vake. Whipped through the hands. Horn. And Osher's pass. So a bit of a respite for Paul Ruiz. I wonder what they're going to do for the last minute, Biggie. Do they try get a, a try going into the second half, or do they rather just get out of trouble, boot it upfield? I believe if they get the ball from this throw in, the good opportunity will be to use the power in Horn, Quinn Horn and Tyler Box bash through their defense and get the try. But other than that, if it's pressure on you, kick it out. 
reset, reform, come back second half, gunning. Well, the absolute maelstrom of noise from the boys' high crowd almost throwing off Paul Ruiz. And both these sides not firing today with their lineouts. Something they'll be wanting to look at going into the second half. Robbie Rogers. So Paul Ruiz, a last chance this half. They can draw even. Nice line and a high arm around the neck. However, nothing in it, says Mkumboti. Volata. Almost pulled off something really special, but advantage was being played. So I think, was it for that high tackle? Yeah, dangerous tackle. Yeah, Kwezim Mkumboti mentioned it. Even Rueda, young man represented the Lions in the Craven League last year. Just defending around the neck. Volata pinpoint. And this was the yeah, reaching high tackle. Pop a choke there. Very dangerous by Ivan Rueda. Seeing it all. Good play of advantage from him. Delio now out. Kearns. Boris, an opportunity. Going into half time. Rogers moves back. Meaden. A meter out. Can boys high hold up Ruiz? And well, they've done a brilliant defense from boys high. We've seen stunning defense from both sides and a tight, highly competitive game at Brifstraat. At 35 minutes, the difference has been perhaps the fly halves and the try from Boys High at halftime. Boys High lead Paul Ruiz 16 points to nine. It's a battle at Brustrat, and looking at the stats, there's a story. Tackles made have evened up, but missed from Paul Ruiz. The reason perhaps for the score deficit. Lineouts haven't been firing, scrums have been exemplary, and all in all, a very competitive and even game between these two sides. And you can see Paul Ruiz have spent most of the time in the boys' eye at 32, just not executing. Um, and the ball not getting past the centers there, Anton. That's one thing they've been struggling with. Yeah, you guys ready? Blue. Yeah, make sure they're behind you. Yeah? And the game is begun for the second time. A acrobatic miss. Okay. And so the Polo's play being smashed up. This is a great start for Boys High. Great indeed. Boys High finish off the circle, first half, rather. With a seven point lead, they're looking to maintain that. A great way to start the game off with that defense tackle. Five. Alistair Williams, he's been the first choice hooker for Boys High from under 14 to under 16. And a really talented player last year. He was dancing between the bench and the starting lineup for Boys High. Now coming to his own this year. Now out, out. Van der Sant after getting up the ball. Feeds Meaden who in turn gives it to Box. Good defense from Paul Ruiz. Even Ruda with yet another offense. They're coming in from the side of the ruck. Just think in, in such Matthew, positions, we're about, they're about 15, side. 20 meters from the try line. Just need to use his head a bit. Lines in the middle. That defense, just make better decision. 
in terms of getting or forming part of that mall or the rack. Wonderful take. Buerta. And a brave tackle from Andre Smith. He had a head of steam. Volata using that boot. Up for the challenge is Rousseau. Oh! Thundering contact, but Rousseau wouldn't be back, stopped. Back, back, back. Funder Sant. And out. Finds a big man. Fantes. Completing on. Second time. Play the nine. Penalty is still in the loop. Yeah, boys are giving more opportunity to think about the set pieces. And yeah, Kian Meaden definitely has the boot to get them as close to that trial line as possible. Right in striking position within the 22. Numbers, please. Numbers, please. Four. Four, man. Thank you. Anton, I did say, boys, I was struggling to select the right channels to run in the first half, Bantis the first quarter, but going on to the end of the first half, they picked that up and they did quite well. And out. Line outs, however, continue Wait. to be an issue. You're outside. Not seeing Second back. very many neat throw-ins going into the recipient's hands. Allowed to bounce. And then comes with a shoulder. Rousseau. Out. Dabs it deftly. And Kearns. Feeds Volata now some running space. Clutty, the deputy head boy, puts it to his left boot. Kieran Horn running after it. Two men after him. Clutty and Croy. And Horn is so strong. Evades the attention of the two defenders. Find a sand. Gives it to his locks. And Evan Rueda, who was at JP last year, playing for the Lions in the Craven Week, takes it, but it's quickly been turned over. Ronan Daniels, inside line, Matt Ludet. Give me Altran, fix it and bring it back to you. Rogers. Hey, play. He's been good today. He's still good. Five meters out, three meters out. Just short, Robbie Rogers. What a rampaging run from Rogers. Pick and drive, Paul Roos. Good start from them, the second half. Hunting the try that has evaded him thus far this game. On the line, on the line. Eight. Once again. Short. Release. The blue and white wall holds strong. For how much longer? That's hold up. Hold up. I'm right held here. Up. Boys eyes defense. Guys in front of us. Like a wall defending Paul Ruiz. That first turnover came through from even Rueda. Running with a ball in hand with the same shoulder that he's attacking with. Ball was taken by Paul Ruiz. Now they came on knocking on the try line. Just not getting past the boys high defense. I think it's a bit of deja vu from last half. Boys high several occasions. Almost made it over. We're held up eventually. They overcame the Paul Ruiz defense. Paul Ruiz, of course, now will be trying to do Couch. exactly the same thing. Fine. I wonder if that is a discussion between the flanks. It's just going down, eh? It's going down. I need the cap, guys, eh? The boys high might be able to not fall under that deja vu moment. Just get those scrums firing. Reynard Risberger. Needs to make sure of his scrimmage. Like I said, Couch. keep those hips square. Fine. And good. And Set. Good to feed. Good push Loose. from Paul Ruiz. Taken off the back. Kearns. Biggie, what happened there? I'm Just one unluckily. Pickup came from Arnu. One Hennel. captain. Just ran into his I'm own player. About every time I'm giving a penalty, number eight just got involved. With an I'm gonna the penalty. Just now. unlucky. Okay, look. Next time, just tell the guys yeah. not to get involved, please. So, but we went with our players. Oh, but, no? Boys are struggling with discipline. Number eight, don't get involved. With our ref, Kwezim Kombo, to giving the final warning. You don't need to get involved in that. Just let 
the call being made yeah. and let's play on. This is his first televised game and really is a picture of rugby development. I know everyone in King Williamstown is watching as he makes his televised debut. That was the incident. And we resume right in front of the boys' high crowd. They are vociferous. Numbers, please. Four. Okay, four. Receiver. Wait, guys, wait. He might you quiet him down a bit for the sake of okay, step, this step for me. hooker, Mr. Williams. Armand <whistles> Kutsia comes into the field for boys' heart. Not back, not clean. Take Pressure. Backline back doing well for boys' high now. Tackle. Oh, box. No, leave it, leave it. He's got some strength in him. One, two, straight from the side. I need you counting over the ball for the side, both of you. Black Mr. Kwesem Komboti is side. calling, quite assertive. And uh, it's not the first time that uh, Jared Keynes is involved in this infringement. Just need to work on their discipline. Quite a big, solid man. Entire box breaking those tackles. Open you can just see there by Numbers Tyler's please. body positioning, the gate five, five. was much smaller. And that's how uh, Jared, the captain of Polres, came through from the side. Williams throwing, doesn't find its mark. Paul Roos now, Frontage. gifted an attacking opportunity. Start off by giving it to none other than Robbie Rogers, who, as per Frontage usual, over. gained several meters. Now Bolita, Daniels. Turned over. over by his opposite 12. Tyler Tackle. Box against his former school. Hands from the big man, but what a thumping tackle. Dylan DeLue. Oh, brilliant stuff from him. And redeeming himself. No, 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 no. No, wait, wait, wait. From the Sant. Meaden throws a dummy. Tore through. Kian Meaden looking at his options. Decides to put in the kick. It's being hunted. It's fielded. Yes. And what a try. Kian Van Beek pulls off the impossible. What a combination. Kian from Beek. This is the man that scored the only try in the defeat last year with Meaden. Converting that try, but look at the support play. The turnover coming from Box. Kian Meaden, with such eagerness, chasing that ball. But look at this big lad, Gideon Van Vake, scoring the try for Paul Boys High. Oh, just such a brilliant play from both players. On, and those side, youngsters, plenty of reason to celebrate, but. I don't know who I'm more impressed with because Meaden, he was looking at his options, he weighed it up and he picked the perfect one. Van Veik, such good support running and such pace from a big man. I think Anthony trusted that Van Veik would get there. Perfect decision, punted it to the left and Hidden Van Veik reached for the try. From right in front of the Paul Ruiz crowd. And, well, he is human, I suppose. This is where the, the dummy came through from Eden. This man just running the perfect channel, punting it to the left. Look at that pace coming through from Van Fake, scoring the try for Boys High. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, the second man called Biggie, he's got a way with rhyming words. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Croy now. Restarts. It's Quinn Fisser new to the field. He the ball now. there. Took a thumping. Wait, wait. Worked back. Rousseau uses a left foot. Touch hasn't been found. Proper head of steam now from the captain. Jared Kearns. Release, release. I wouldn't have wanted to be the one to tackle him with that head of steam. Paul Ruiz now break into the boys' high 22 and then get pushed back. 
Forward Fast they go. Spot. Paul Ruiz yet to score a try. They give it to Robbie Rogers. Release. Perhaps their best bet. Seven, seven steps. Rogers' father, Heinrich, played prop for the Bulls Vantage. and South no Africa. Arms. And his uncle, Maurice Herter, also played for the Springboks. So real rugby royalty. What's up there? Uh oh. Mkomboti gave a warning regarding their behavior. This uh, might be a card day. Consecutively there. Yeah? Okay, you're using your arms. Please make sure you're using yes, your arms. Yes, okay. Thank you. Yes, it's quite lucky after they've been warned. Alistair Williams just not using his arms to defend there. Okay, shoulder. This is really exciting. Paul Ruiz. They need to get the line out right though. Both these sides struggling with the lineup. This is their most important aspect. Set it up. Numbers, please. And then we see what they can do. Can they break the defense? Well, they do the thing they had Suck to. Suck is good. Suck is good. The mall now set Use. up. Use it, please. Boys High effectively disrupted. It's a mall, guys. It's a mall. It's a mall. First, it was part of the penalty. Alistair Williams now winning the ball back for Boys High. Boys are much yeah, alert in defense in this half. Yeah, Quite looking like Paul Ruiz in the first 10 minutes of the match. I just think they need to find their stability. Just looking a bit sloppy in terms of choosing the right channels. Just playing by chance instead of playing a, a more concerted uh, set piece. But yeah, I agree. It feels as if Paul Ruiz just haven't found their shape or their rhythm. Couch. It's a bit haphazard on the attack. Bye. I had always a particular strategy Six. coming clear. And the sun feeds the scrum wheels. And we'll have a mulligan. Let's go, let's go. Okay, just wait, guys. I've got a sub. Haphazard, as sub. Anton says, that scrum not one of the cleanest. But one thing that I've seen here in Paul Ruiz, Anton, is that uh, I read the, the ball subject. doesn't get past the fly off. They're playing with uh, the fourth decision centers. I mean, right and warm up, their third decision centers got injured. And now that's why I think they play a lot with their forwards and that the ball doesn't come Couch. up clean to the back line. Five. Investigative work Set. from Biggie explaining. And that's exactly what's been happening, Biggie, on the money. Van der Sand gives it to Meaden. Van der Sand was under a bit of pressure. Meaden picks it out. The ball favors Ruiz. Luke Berger. On your feet. On your feet. Man handles. Well that first man. Berger is with the Sara and the 16 elite squad, but now the kick over the top. Boys hide charging. Meaden against his opposite number. Meaden versus Volata. Volata perhaps isolated. Now his support players arrive. And a superb pass off the ground. Swart is playing second year with the first team. Right there. Volata. Picks out Velbach, another player in the Saru, the 16 elite group. Release now, no, move, leave it. He was talking about a slight aversion to move it through the hands from Ruiz. Now, almost stolen, but we see them consistently the using their big men to bash it up. And if they use that strategy, they have to go a long way from their 22. Anton, they need to take it a bit deeper. No, leave it, leave it to the four. Rather let the man pick step it up and pass up, it into up. the first channel. Because they're bashing at it too much and just sucking defender, but it's not striking. Backwards, back. backwards. And Error puts him under all tackle, sorts of pressure. Tackle. Now. Kate Volata held up. Paul Ruiz spring to his defense. Box kick comes in. And Berta, I'll tell you what, he had to put it in. And he found touch under enormous pressure. He saved Paul Ruiz, and that well, is quite a scary situation for them. Zander Buerta represented numbers. South numbers, guys. District Eagles on the Grand Coma in 2017. Numbers. Just needs to five, allow five, the force to be a drop pick up nine. Ground, nine. From there, then find drop. stability and just ask them to play it a bit deeper. Bash up, bash up, break up the defense and let the center strike in the middle. Williams. Now he's found his Over. mark. That's Beautiful stuff from. Williams and the Paul Boys High line up there more making some forward ground as Williams steering from the back gets him into the 22 and they look like a Land Rover driving through sand slowly moving forward but nonetheless Where moving forward. The 
That's it, own man, own man, own man, own man. Box. Showing his physicality. Now Fundersand with pace. Gives it to Rainsberger, the captain. Brave defense Tuck on him. Inside centre, Daniels. Bashed up, almost through. The no-look pass didn't find its mark. As a result, Paul Ruiz given the scrum. That is not the place to be playing around with 50-50 tackles. Alistair Williams oh, just should have held his hands on that ball, taken it to ground. Or rather, not Alistair Williams, Neil Fenter, taking it to ground and be able to play a clean ball from there. But their scrums have been quite on point, quite on par. And they are five metres out from the try line. This is yet another opportunity for them to possibly drive through over the try line and score it. It's Madden Ibison, but okay, Biggie, let's let's do some gambling. What do you think they're going to do? Are they going to pick it off the eight? Are they going to send it to Meaden? Or are they going to go blind? But the scrum is going to Paul Riss. So if Paul <laughs> Riss gets the scrum, Cade will have to, to get out, out of pressure. But of course, sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Crucial element there. <laughs> but if Boys High gets it, I think they need to get in the tight shoulder. Let's say they hook the ball successfully, get in the tight shoulder, and then take out the eighth <laughs> man and the guys. blind side flanker from defense and strike okay, right there. Blue. Scrum. Quinn Horn is one man that you can use to bash it up and score the possible try. But it's running. Yeah, of course, yes. Paul Ruiz with the scrum. The pushing has been quite... Okay, just back. Scrumming has been pretty good today. Stop, sorry. Jesse Linders made a brief entry onto the field, but I think it was then found that Mering Ibison Number two. was all right, so he... <laughs> like a yo-yo. On, off, on. And Linders played Grand Como in 2017. Red scrum. Crouch. Five. And set. And, 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 one. Lewis. Gas, that's too much movement. We just shifted to scrum off. Feet, we're going to re redo. Reinhard Reinsberger from Boys High, showing his strength, causing that stability in that scrum. Just important for Arman Kutsia just to drop his back a bit lower, get the same shove in, especially Couch. the second shove for Boys High. Bind! Set! Voliter standing on his try line, quite shallow. Use! Whip blind. <laughs> Gap opens up, Paul Ruiz on the attack. Work, playing advantage. Offside. So, all of sides, here you go, yeah. There was a jersey mix up, and it's actually Clutty who has been playing in the number 14 jersey. That's why I mentioned he's a scrum off, and it's him that's moved now into the scrum off position. So, Ludit and Clutty. Captain. Captain. Wearing opposite it's numbers to be too many now. Ones yeah, talk to the guys, please. They must be on the, the team sheet. Off sides, eh? The backs. Blue, open. Stoic looking faces there. Paul Ruiz getting to the point of now or never. Linders, his first like a throw, good, use good it. one. Leave it, there it is, leave it, leave it, it's, it's available. It's Clutty available. digs it out, fires it out, Voleta, deft pass to Kearns. Tackle, tackle! Move! Taurus, bit of energy to them, a nice no. pod set up, so some structure coming through for the Stellenbosch side. Wild. Linders, oh, he's bullied back through the middle. Goes the captain, go, and he goes backwards. Can oh, work, Paul move. This could work. Move the strategy there, of right. bashing it, it up. Right, 24. Clutie allows the pod to set up in front of him. No, advantage. 
Bashed up, wild. And just trying to wear down the boys' high defense of Porus. They are making Language. forward ground. Five meters out. Put us, put us on side, put us on like side. Trench warfare in World War I, inches being fought for. Release. Battled at Brockstrad. Now, two meters out, it's knocked down. Wild does his best, can't break so through. Advantage, right? The poor boys' defense with advantage. Release the blue. Smash Release back. the blue. Is this the time for them to whip it out to the back line? Rather, they opt to use the big Release. men. Release. And. No. So close. Clitty hands on it, works it blind. Short. We're short, guys. We're trying to move them. Coming back for that advantage. Still advantage. short. <laughs> Penalty. Porous. Just bashing it up in front. A bit too much. There's options where they two men overlap. Okay, that's they could have just released it to the back line. They had Ludet and Swart waiting to receive that ball. Anton, there's an, an opportunity whereby Robbie Rogers took it in with two support runners with him, and there was no one on his right hand side. An open space created. That was the perfect opportunity to just before contact release it. Uh, I believe okay. it was Daniel Swart running Let's with go, him. And that could have been a try. They just need to identify those opportunities and release the ball at that opportune moment. Okay. Okay. You, do, you, offside, Let's go. do you agree, though, with the Polaris' larger strategy of using their big men? You explained. Okay, well, I don't really want to give it to the centers. Do you think Second it's just right? the strategy's there, but the execution is not right? Okay. It seems a bit more rushed. It seems a bit... I don't think that is the strategy. Um, maybe they said, listen, play the back line, but the forwards not having much confidence in the back line and that link not being there. You know, I just believe uh, maybe give them the opportunity to see the strike, but we have seen the ball not going past the inside center. Between the two reserves, Lord. Linders gives it to Wild. Pushing back, moving the wrist. Paul Rus more backwards. Trying to weasel their way forward now. <laughs> really strong defense on Boys High. But as I say it, one man marches forward, presents it back, and the counter ruck. Strong from Boys High. Volata. Croy gets out the pass. Paul Rus and Luke Berger back in it. Volata coming in to save the day. Saw the ball on its own, picked it up, released it. Paul Riz slowly coming into play. Look at Volata getting that ball out. And what a man, Kate Croy was quite awake, released the ball back to Luke Berger, scoring his first try for this match. They have been knocking on this door, and they finally got the result they've been looking for. I love the Paul Roos. This volatile puts a kick over, puts it over the Paul Roos. Students running on the field with their flags. Volata saw that ball and saw the opportunity in the space that could be made by Croy. Croy heard the cries of Luke Berger awaiting the ball and scoring his try for Paul Roos. Oh, nice linking between Volata and Croy. Croy had to do some work. And Berger, of course, a man to cap it off. So, five points the difference. Ten minutes left. This is a stellar game. And one of the stars, Meaden, sends a low drop kick. Kearns goes on the run. Hands off. Meanwhile, Delmar Dijena, in his second year playing for the first team, comes on for Boys High. Buerta. Biggie mentioned he played for Southwestern West District. West he used West to be at Otaniqua before Duck. residing in Stellenbosch. Hands on, you can see Paul Riss regaining their confidence uh, it seems that the more they have the ball the better they can execute and actually play to their strategy so now it's a matter of contesting the scrums a bit better getting that ball out and allowing the back line to play some set pieces
Love the kiss. Yeah, I know. And the Again, energy playing, of these good. young men have been jeering, cheering. Let's go. And well, leering <laughs> the whole game. And it really is just wonderful. You have to think and appreciate the aspect of schoolboy rugby. Reps the communities. Fine. Paul Ruiz, of course, representing Six. many in Stellenbosch. And Boys High would argue use, use. they represent at least more than half of the town of Paul Volata holds on to it. Now keeps on going with it. Wrong footing is defenders. Brilliant play from Volata. Eventually he feeds it out to Matt Ludit. Leave, you're off, you're off, leave it. You're off. You're not supporting your body weight. You're straight down. You're on your elbows. Straight. Straight down. Tash just competing for the ball there, losing his feet in that contest. Leave it red, leave it, leave it red, leave it. Boys high. Wait, wait. Now they're under a bit of pressure for perhaps one of the first times in the game, barring the beginning. No, release, 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 release. Into channels, bashed up, and all of us were cautioned. Oh, so strong being the defender. It's Evan Ruda, the kick comes in. Not too much of a chase, but it doesn't matter. That's a fine kick, especially in which a game in which the lineouts haven't been firing. Could be a wonderful opportunity for Boys High. Vian van der Sands is quite the kick now. It's the perfect opportunity for Evan Rudder and Neil Fenton to defend and get that ball. And he does. Oh, they've done it. They've contested, but <laughs> allowed to bounce in van der Sands defense. No, he was no. up against the lock. Second back. He's had the height advantage. Volata feeds Daniels, who gives it to Berger, the tries to Berger brings some much needed energy to the back line. Picked up, and Robbie Rogers has been a light for Paul Ruiz today. Now he's into space. Play, that's play. Great turnover. Oh, and legal, good understanding of the laws. Funder wait, Sant. Wait. Come Vantage. off a hand. Offside, eh? You can see the fatigue in boys' eye. Trying to come into effect, not defending very well on the pillars, allowing Paul Rest to get to that ball. But uh, I believe uh, Kian Meaden will try to give them a bit of stability and attempt that post. Can you make a decision now, please? What are you doing? What a tackle that came in from Quinn Horn. Great understanding of the law, showing daylight and contesting that ball, winning over that ball for boys high. Five minutes, guys. Ronan Daniels, he had a good run, though. So, we've got a new kicker, Jacques Rousseau. And he's got big boots to full. <laughs> I believe he's the one making the kick uh, mm. because Kian Meaden has Better been cramping a bit. Uh -huh. Always remember, this is schoolboy rugby. How often do you see kicks being made between 40 and 50 meters out? Jacques Rousseau is stepping up to the tee, literally. <laughs> oh, he's done it. This is exceptional. Truly exceptional kicking. Jacques Rousseau has been putting his golden boot on ice. Look at the smile on his face. Well deserved, this man. That was about 48 meters out. Slotted it in for boys high. One thinks Paul Ruiz will be desperate to regain possession off this restart. Croy sends it high. A wall of maroon marches up. Doesn't perturb Evan Ruder. Take him back. Rousseau. Showing off that boot. And Kearns, once again from the back, gives opportunity to go on a run. Roll, Some brave roll, tacklers take him down as he bursts into the boys' high half. Double 
And Polaris using their forwards as they have the whole day. Now blind, a long pass. He's going to Linders, who in charge. Feeds Puerta, back to Linders. Oh, and that was forward. Polaris' hearts must be breaking. Great one-two combination show by Zander Buerta and Matt Ludet. Ah, oh, just not getting that ball out. Paul Riss showing some moments of brilliance, trying the utmost space to get back into the game. But with just three minutes left, what more can they give us? We wait in anticipation. We do indeed. What a game it has been. Count. One. Five. Five. Six. Eight. So a big push from Ruiz, showing why they've used their forwards the whole day. Deft underhand pass. Now, boys high, coming alive. Pass is working, sticking, magical stuff. Carving through, Angelo Osh. Oh my gosh, he's done it. Am I dreaming? Angelo Osh, Saru Elite. What a run, coming down the stretch. Came through dancing us all types of moves. So slick, so smooth. Look at that emotion. I just feel the same way. Look at this brilliance, I can't say much. Uh, we understand why the supporters are in tears. That is as fine a schoolboy try as you'll ever see. Beautiful. No! Yeah! Lightning for yeah! his hands and Osh with the individual brilliance. I'll tell you, oh, that man. I feel you, that was something special. He hasn't had much of the ball in his hands and I believe that was the third time he gets ball in hand and he's okay? just brilliant. Angelo Osh. Moment of the match indeed. So. Misses, but at this point. Well, let's have a look at this. From the scrum, ball picked up by the big hidden from Vike. He's had his try in this match. With this little netball poppy given through by Vian van der Sant. And look at this man, Angelo Osh, going all the way, coming down the stretch. Can I release that? What a try. That's it. And the old boys have cause for celebration. Peter Engeldo as well will be happy with what he's done with his charges. And Kate Volatek says one last line out. Boys, I have won this derby, derby three times Number until six. last year, where they were beaten Number by six. Paul Rose. But today, five. making sure that it's not the same. Linda pops it in. Swart takes, and boys, high. It's a more aggressive on the defence, and so much so that they've turned it over. The player gets bundled out, and that is that an emphatic fine day for Paul Boys High, a day in which they will be able to cherish and remember forever. The old boys storm the field. Biggie, any final words? Anton, I've watched a couple of these derbies, but I must say, this one was one of the most exciting that I've witnessed, and I must also thank our referee, Kwesim Komboti, quite on par with the calls and very stern indeed but this was one dynamite match and the final score at Bruchstraat 29 points to 16 Paul boys defeat Paul Ruiz